other modification is a growing trend both here in Northern California and around the world. So does it work? And why do some people say it could do more harm than good? Could a strange substance found by a Southwest Arkansas man be part of a government test? Well, that's the question at the heart of a phenomenon called chemtrails, now getting widespread attention. Government officials in Russia have been experimenting with cloud seeding for years as a way to manipulate the weather. Well, they say the government is dumping chemicals on us to control or manipulate the weather. And they say the unusual looking jet trails in the sky are actually chemical laden chemtrails. It's a belief gaining popularity here in Colorado. That is not rain, that is not snow. Believe it or not, military aircraft flying through the region is dropping chaff. Small bits of aluminum, sometimes it's made of plastic or uh, even uh, metallicized, uh, metallicized paper products. But it's used as an anti-radar issue and obviously they're up there practicing. Now they won't confirm that, but I was in the Marine Corps for many years and I'll tell you right now, that's what it is. Is the government experimenting with our weather? This is inevitably military or something going on. The government, the Air Force, they send out what's known as chaff, and it's a way to experiment with the radar system. So when you see this kind of a pattern like this, you can rest assured there's something going on. They're actually little bitty magnetic, you know, little bitty strips of, whether it's aluminum, you know, they, they change it, but what happens is the radar deflects off of all these little pieces, and they use it actually as a jamming mechanism for radar in warfare, but it can also jam our radar and make rain appear that there really is no rain out there. Golden admits scientists are experimenting with the weather on a smaller scale. Here in Colorado, cloud seeding to create rain or snow is a common practice. There are things that we, that we believe we can do, but a lot more research needs to be done. That's why Golden says we will soon see more weather modification programs, including geoengineering, in the near future. But he says it's not happening yet. There are 172 bills before the U.S. Senate right now calling for more weather modification programs. And while scientists say it's one way to reduce greenhouse gases, opponents say the consequences could be devastating. All of these things change the growing cycles. Peterson says altering the amount of sunlight that hits the earth will lead to damaged crops, dead and dying trees, and the disappearance of honeybees. Then I think we're going to be in more trouble than ever before. Here in downtown San Francisco, at PG&E headquarters, up on the 16th floor, the weather office, where the utility's top weatherman, Byron Marler, studies charts and satellite pictures. Marler's job is to change weather. Although he won't say it that way. Well, we're really not changing the overall picture of the weather in the Sierra Nevada with the exception of causing a little more snowfall over some of the watersheds. Five to ten percent additional water on an annual basis. PG&E uses what are basically big propane gas flares in the mountains. But others use different methods including airplanes to scatter tiny particles of silver iodide to seed the clouds. Most of the watersheds of the Sierra Nevada are cloud seeded by someone. Water districts, corporate farms, even private individuals all modify the weather with little oversight and no government restrictions. You have a lot of people experimenting with the atmosphere. Who plays God with our crops? Who plays God with different areas of the state of California or the counties? In other words, the weather belongs to all of us. So the jury's out as to what the exact effects are, but those contrails do have an effect upon the weather and climate. And you know, it turns out until nine years ago, the government had the right under U.S. law to conduct secret testing on the American public. So, is there really poison in the sky? It has been written that fools think they know what is best, but a sensible person listens to advice. Therefore, beloved ones, may you hear the full matter before making your decision. And there shall be great earthquakes in various places, and scarcities of food, and deadly diseases. And there shall be horrors, and great signs from heaven. Luke 21 11. The best warfare, weather manipulation. When all else fails, just blame it on the rain, or better yet, blame God, you betcha it'll work. Have you ever heard of, chemtrails?
to not get this confused with contrails. This is not chemtrails. This is what you call a chemtrail. Notice the difference. Chemtrails are poisonous chemicals that are being sprayed into the atmosphere. These chemicals manifest themselves by weird clouds or streaks in the sky. Chemtrails have been known to carry a long list of very biohazardous material. Some of these harmful agents including bacilli, molds, fungus, streptomycin, enterobacteriaceae, jet fuel, and barium. Not only are chemtrails causing people to suffer from a wide range of diseases, such as asthma, upper respiratory problems, meningitis, to name a few, but all around the world human bodies are being hammered with heavy metal poisoning. Despite all this, chemtrails can even change weather conditions. Let us ponder on Ephesians chapter 6, verse 12. Because we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against authorities, against the world rulers of the darkness of this age, against spiritual matters of wickedness in the heavenlies, against spiritual matters of wickedness in the heavenlies. We know there are three parts to heaven. The one we cannot see, is the dwelling place of Yahuwah, along with the host of heaven. The other is what we call space. This can be viewed with a telescope. Lastly there is the blue sky seen with our eyes. Shockingly, scriptures tell us that Satan is the god of the atmosphere, or air, as described in Ephesians 2.2. I beseech you to fully grasp what that means. Taking all this into consideration, would you like to know what is the purpose in spraying harmful agents over our beautiful sky? There are many theories as to why. Some claim to help aid in the depopulation of billions of people. You know, easy management for the new world order. While others claim, the chemtrails can actually cause people to be somewhat sleepy, sort of like a continual trance. The gruesome truth is, weather manipulation is not some cooked up conspiracy as some would have you believe. The FOI ministry is not here to try to convince you to believe chemtrails are real, but rather we will expose why, and how weather manipulation is being used to fulfill end time scriptural prophecy. Please have an open mind and hold on to my hand. We are about to step outside the box. As we stand outside the box, I'm going to give you a job, a job as a stage director. Yes, you are now in charge of setting up props. Think big here. No, much bigger. You are in charge of the biggest event in all of world history. You must convince millions and millions upon billions that they just witnessed the second coming of the Messiah. Can you do it? If not, stay outside that box with us for a while. You will see some fascinating signs unfold before our very eyes. Are you ready? Here we go.